Hey guys, Garage Maxed out here. Today I'm going to be adding a couple of new remotes to my garage door opener. This is a LiftMaster, uh, and we only have one remote that currently works with this opener. Uh, I actually have another Security Plus style opener that I tried to program with this opener, but it didn't work, and I did a bunch of research. It's kind of confusing, so I wanted to do a video to show you guys how to think about it. If you've got a slightly different opener, what remotes you need, how much these things should cost, and how you get them programmed. Before I go ahead and begin, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get notified of my new videos. I've got a bunch of cool new stuff coming up here on the horizon, uh, so you definitely want to sub and get those notifications. Let's go ahead and jump in. Okay guys, so this is what the back of my unit looks like. The color is really weird. Like, I, I don't know if this is some sort of mauve, brown, tan. I looked up online and none of those are color options. And actually what it turns out it is, it's, it's purple. Um, but essentially most of these units that are Chamberlain units that are from 2005 and up use similar remotes. The problem is you can't program one that has the little uh, infinity symbol on the top with a Security Plus style. And I'll put a picture so that you guys can see close up what I'm talking about. So the current remote is one that has that little round symbol on the top. And subsequently, I needed to order these, which would work with that. And the way that we're gonna program this is either, you can do it one of two ways. Either you press and hold the back square button for 30 seconds, which eliminates all other devices, so, so you'd basically be starting from scratch, or you can go ahead and just press it once and then program and add individual remotes one at a time, which is what I'm gonna do. So I go ahead and I just press, and the light back here turns on, and I press and hold, and the light flashes, and that tells me that this is now programmed. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Press and hold for one second, the LED turns on and within 30 seconds, I press and hold this and the light flashes. Now I should have two new remotes that are programmed. So let's go ahead and we'll test them out. There we go. Now I'll test this other one. Making it go the door go down. Now, if you were to buy these remotes, generally they're like 30 bucks from the manufacturer. I got these two for $12, uh, so it's, it's really good to have one kind of spare program. You're already up here on the ladder anyway. Go ahead and program two, throw one in the drawer, uh, so that way you've got your replacement. So that's really all you need to do. I'll add some pictures in the video so you guys can see clearly what I'm talking about so that it's easy to follow. Uh, but no one should be scared of this job. Really just buy a couple of these things on Amazon, hit the button, hit the remote, and it'll start right up. I didn't even have to add batteries to these remotes. They already had the batteries in them. So really cool. So uh, I hope this helps somebody. I know it's a short video, um, but, but definitely not something you need to procrastinate. It takes about five minutes. Pull the ladder out, put yourself up there uh, and program them. And then you've got that convenience. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.